Hi everyone, your chess puzzler here, and welcome to the channel. We all aspire to be better players. Chess, for the overwhelming majority, is the ultimate game. I will not be exaggerating if I say it is highly addictive. If you lose a game, you will probably challenge our same opponent again. And if you win, you will want to play again. Just to show you're a much better player. Now, what we have today is another impossible type of situation. Before we bring up any diagram, without losing any invaluable time, we had covered previously how two knights can checkmate a lone king. We also looked at some other impossible situations where a checkmate is delivered using a single bishop. Today, we're going to look at another impossible or near impossible type of endgame. So we're not using two knights to checkmate the opposing king, I believe it or not. The same thing is done by using one single knight. You heard me correctly. We're going to use one single knight to deliver an impossible checkmate. So with this in mind, let's introduce the diagram that we already saw in the very thumbnail. From this point onwards, Provided we know what side is to move, you must be in a position to improvise. If black were to move, there are two options. One is deadly, the other one is winning. If you err and go for this knight, the king sitting in the corner, very idle, isn't this a checkmate? And you saw this here, it's checkmate. This would have been the blunder of the century, actually. If you alternatively remove the rock, knight e3, b4, knight c4, a rock check, and king e5 would allow this guy to roll. After knight b2, and this rook responds, knight d3 does nada. b2, knight takes, and the emergence of a brand new queen, this contest is over. Even if you try this knight move, just hand over the queen to the knight after the king makes his presence felt, there is no coming back from this one. Let's up the stakes with something way more intriguing. Instead of black playing first, what if white were to have a go first? Is this winnable? And if so, how would you do it? If you try this rook move to slot in a checkmate on the back rank, Maybe this is not going to happen. If you get rid of the knight, then yes, with this attack on the back rank, this is no different to what we saw earlier. So, why not? Let's hear it again. Okay, checkmate. What you see, of course, is Charles' play. What if black delivers this check instead? With the king now is setting to attack the rook, and protect the knight at the same time. How far will this check get you? King h6 does not work. Cause when this picture appears, if this is checkmate, let's hear it for the nth time. Ah, checkmate. The only way out is this king move to h4. But after the knight is pursued, Knight c2, rook c5, and possibly something like this push to the fourth. Or even king g7 would define. King g3, b4, king f3, rook c4, and now this king moves to cover. Black is way superior. If you decide to take and take, then what do you think wins and why? It's going b4. You can write off. But are three connected pawns stronger than a single rook? King f6, rook takes, 
King g5, King f3, black here, Rook stuck. Rook b6 works. Rook b1 works. And if you don't get the rook going, where does this king move into g3 get you? If f5, rook b6 can get you in with this check. But after king h3 and king h5, things here can get tricky. Rook b8, king g5. Mm. And now rook h8, and however black plays it, you will have to drop the first pawn. King f4 will drop this guy with a check. And should the king advance after rook a4 or rook b4, this push f4 gets you nowhere. King g4, f3, and this check, the checkmate is now in sight. King d4, remove the pawn. From this point on, should be looking at a mate in something between 12 to 15 moves. This is, in fact, some interesting in-game study. It shows a rook with three pawns, three connected pawns, that are hopeless against a lone rook. So this type of iteration, using this sequence of moves, in short, goes nowhere for white. If you come back to this starting position, Black is in fact challenging their position to swap the rooks, so the pawn can progress all the way to promotion. But anyone actually knows the pawn will be powerless to get there because the knights will be able to intercept him. However, what if I told you there is a way, and there is a way for white to win, however impossible this sounds or looks? What can self do, and where is the win? Can anyone figure this one out? And if so, can you show? And you know, how impossible this may look, this is what you may wish to do. Since the rook on a4 challenges you to take, let's go on and trade the rook to the rook. There is a forcing sequence in place. If you play it right, there's only one result here. Can you see it? It's this knight move to the very rim. If you bring the knight back, king g7 to save the pawn. I beg your pardon, king g8. <laughs> king g8 is the move to save the pawn. Knight c4, h5, king e5, king g7, something like king d4, and self can never ever win having the knight against one to three pawns. So, not to waste time, making a U turn to capture this guy on the a file is not going to cut it. What you actually need to be looking at is this knight move to the rim. This is the move that really counts. With North having no move but to advance the pawn. Once they do, get rid of this guy now. A2 is also forced, unless you want to go for something like this push to G5. Nothing really changes whether you go for A2 or G5. So after this move to A2, which makes so much more sense, we know this guy on A2 is now unstoppable. It will transgender into a brand new queen. But is it certain this game is over actually? Because the king is stuck on the edge of the board. And because the king on the seventh is in full control of all the squares surrounding the king on the eighth. This is one case of very few. The white may be able to deliver the so called unbelievable checkmate. If you were caught up with the very same position in an online game, what do you think happens if black gets flagged? And this is, in other words, who runs out of time. Whether well, it's any one of the two or three major line channels, if black gets flagged, I bet you white can only manage a draw. Why? Because normally, 
I say normally, lone knights with three pawns can never be a win. However, in two moves or so, everything we know about a lone knight not able to deliver a checkmate will change. This is one of the very few cases where we do get to experience a checkmate. Can you see it, guys? This is a move you're looking for. Once the king advances to the eighth, still in full control of all the surrounding squares, in proximity to the king on h8, when black queens, this is what you're looking for. And let's hear it for the last time today. Checkmate, amigo. Who could ever imagine the checkmate like this to ever be possible? Doesn't matter what you have standing on the board, because h7, g7, and g8 are all blocked out. It's the only situation where a lone knight is capable of delivering this exquisite checkmate. And this, guys, is how this problem works. What is as hard as it looked? If you're able to solve it, then you must be one hell of a player. More to come time permitting, your chess puzzle are here, and you know the drill, safety always first. <laughs> <laughs>